So now I think we can uh, uh, create an action to set uh, the loading state uh, so we can use uh, the spinner and display it in our page and our application depending on uh, the loading uh, value which is uh, true or false so basically let's take a look on our, on our application let's say that when we hit one of these uh, links we should go to this uh, to this page or to this uh, component uh, on this route so uh, before the information being uh, arrived or before the data being arrived into uh, our state or our movie state and use it inside our uh, our movie uh, and display it in our movie page uh, while that being being processed uh, we need to uh, set a spinner to uh, to tell the user that the the page is loading and the information has not uh, arrived arrived yet from uh, from the API. Also, we, we will do the same process with the <coughs> with the displaying of uh, the search results here while the search results uh, has in, uh, ha had not been arrived yet into our uh, into our state into our movies state so we will display a spinner uh, to uh, tell the users that the information and the page is loading now uh, so when the info or the, the data the search data being arrived so we can uh, display uh, display the the real data the uh, search uh, results so to set the uh, the spinner and set the uh, loading state uh, we need to create an action so let's go to our search actions and create a new action so export const set loading equals to empty parameters we have no parameters here so we simply need to return a type of loading which we need to create inside our types Save. Let's get back. Let's close this and let's import loading and use it inside uh, our action type. So let's save and let's go to the reducers and go to a search reducer. We will add a new case. I hope you guys understand the the steps here and what's the process of the Redux uh, uh, in our in our application. So loading. So basically, we are. Uh, if you remember, we are we having the loading as false as a default uh, as a default state. Uh, so in this case, we need to set the loading state into true. And that's it. That's what uh, our action doing to our uh, loading state. So let's save. And to use this action, we need to use it uh, in two cases or in two components. Let's say first in the uh, movies container when we uh, initi initiate the action of let's say mm, sorry it's inside uh, the search form when we type uh, it's inside the search form okay when we initiate the fetch movies so on that that's right when we fetch movies so we send the request into into the API 
so in this case we need to uh, set the loading into uh, uh, into true so we can display the spinner in, on our page so in this case let's uh, first import set loading and let's uh, not forget to put it in in our uh, in our connect and here we in where we can use set loading it's that simple so this action will set the loading into true so in this case the loading will still be true so uh, we need to reset the loading to false after the data being arrived uh, to our state so let's go to our uh, reducers okay and here uh, as you can see we need for each uh, when we return when the when the state being set let's say that the movies when we call the API we are fetching the uh, data and setting that data for movies into movies so uh, at this time we need to set the loading state sorry loading state into false so that uh, in this case we make sure that uh, the data being uh, arrived into into the movies and also for the movie we need to set the loading into false because we are using loading and the spinner inside uh, the single movie page um, I think that's it so we are using the action for uh, the search form also we need to use it with the movie when we call uh, fetch movie action we need also to uh, set the loading into set loading into uh, true so in that case we need to import set loading also we need to insert it with actions okay save and let's check we have an arrow okay okay we, we forgot maybe forgot to import loading in the reducer okay that's right save get back oh i forgot maybe i forgot to nope Loading is not defined. Where is that? In search actions. Type is loading. Sorry about that. Okay, after save, we can test. First, we need to open our uh, developer windows. Let's go to Redux and see to see our state. Sorry. We need to see our states. Okay. So the state is now false. Let's hit enter. If you can see the state being the, the loading state being changed into true, then it's uh, being changed and returned to false after the data being arrived to movies. So that's exactly exactly what we uh, need from uh, from this and also you can see the differences between states what uh, what what had been uh, uh, changed uh, the movie's state being changed it was empty then it was uh, it was full then we the, the loading uh, being uh, being true then uh, get uh, into false also you can check the timeline I believe it's as you can see here first we search movie 
we set the loading and then we fetch movies so that's exactly what we want from uh, from uh, the loading <coughs> so with loading we uh, <coughs> already uh, use the loading to check uh, to check uh, what to display in our in our uh, movies wrapper you know the movies container component if we get back into movies container or uh, our I guess it's in the landing in the landing yes so in the landing component we get the loading state okay and then we check that loading value if it is false it will display our movies container and if it is true then it will just display the spinner which is which we already uh, created this uh, spinner component so if we try to uh, let's say uh, mission oops I'm sorry what's going on here okay mission impossible and hit enter you will you can recognize that the spinner being displayed let's close this let's just search again and you can see that the spinner dis is displayed uh, while the data being arrived into into our movies uh, into our movies uh, state so I believe that's it for this video in the next video we will finish up with the uh, single movie as you can see we need to change some some value some values inside uh, inside movie component and set the spinner and I believe that's that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you later.